Systems recently presented some of their latest thinking on the future of literal strike. Here we look at these concepts in the context of UK requirements. This is not specifically aimed at the RNMRSS project or any particular country's requirements, but rather preparatory work to begin conversations with potential customers, end users, and industry partners. The UK, the Netherlands, and Norway in particular all have an interest in developing literal strike but there are other potential buyers for aspects or combinations of these technologies. The solution is part of a system of systems approach. MRSS and other contemporary amphibious warfare projects are not just about building ships, but will encompass a number of elements including shipshore links, autonomous offshore platforms, modular capabilities and supporting command, data slash communications networks. The concepts presented are not complete designs but can be substantially adapted or revised to meet customer needs and budgets, AT first glance. The LOS looks like a typical LPD but has far greater flexibility and is able to change roles more quickly than legacy amphibious platforms. This is achieved primarily through easily reconfigurable space to accommodate a range of equipment. This could include command facilities, medical bays, or additional storage for pods slash container payloads. The large well deck is designed to accept future ship-to-shore connectors which are likely to be inherently larger as they operate at much greater distances from shore than older landing craft. There is also a large flight bay to accommodate conventional rotary wing aircraft as well as a range of RWUAS. Whether the MRSS will have a more substantial flight capability than older LPDs remains to be seen. Propulsion based on diesel generators driving twin azipods is an unusual feature of the LOS concept. The Albion-class LPDs were the first RN ships to have fully integrated diesel-electric propulsion, but this was never fully satisfactory due to its relatively labor and maintenance-intensive nature. Subsequently, electric ship technology has improved rapidly, and the LOS will have redundant power generation capacity, a feature shared by most modern surface combatants. This system will be ready to support laser DW, RF DW, and a range of future weapons or sensor requirements. Starting with the Type 45 destroyers, BAS has iteratively developed the System Information Exploitation SIE, a tool that continuously collects and processes equipment data from warships. This information can be accessed on board or ashore to diagnose or predict problems and ultimately reduce maintenance workloads. The latest version of the SIE will be incorporated into the LOS, 